Hi, I'm Midnight Mule. Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. This is the video where I look at the most transferred in players and I'm looking at the 11 most transferred in that could make a legal team. And I'll tell you what I think of them, whether or not I'd bring them in and under what circumstances. The 11 most transferred in players currently for game week 14 are as follows. Kepa, Chelsea keeper. Saliba, Trippier, Dallo. Almiron, Trossard, Foden, De Bruyne, Mitrovic, Tony, Kane. And for each of these, I'd be saying if I'd bring them in, if it didn't cost me anything, so I had one or two free transfers and they were part of that, what if it cost me minus four to take a hit? Now with the minus fours, if there's say five that are minus four and I'm saying yes to, it is cumulative. So I'm saying yes, I would take minus four hits five times because it means I think it's worth it. If you're willing to take a minus four for two different players, so it's minus eight, that's absolutely fine because you think you're going to get your eight points back. Wildcard chip and a free hit chip. And the possible answers I'm going to give are a definite yes, tentative yes, tentative no and a definite no. So most transferred in. First, the keeper for Chelsea at four and a half million. The next three games are away to Brighton, home to Arsenal and away to Newcastle. Now, home games for most teams generally make a massive difference. So I tend to favour the home team. But Chelsea defensively have been very good recently since Potter's been there. Clearly, Kepa is preferred to Mendy. I don't know if Mendy's still injured or not. So a no hit, tentatively, yes. Would I take a hit for him? Absolutely not. I would just leave it another week. The only way I would take a hit to bring him in was if I was selling an expensive keeper and I had to free up the cash then you could possibly make an, ar an argument. But Kepa and the new player you're coming in would have to get more than four points in the next three weeks more than the two players you're taking out to make it worthwhile. And I, I wouldn't be comfortable with that. I'd maybe get Ward before I got him. Uh, wildcard chip, tentative, yes. And free hit chip, yes. The reason it's tentative is I think there are probably other keepers out there for a similar price that could possibly get more points in the next three weeks however and I'm only saying it for this one player there's something very interesting to do with game week 17 onwards from game week 17 after the world cup he's got four very nice fixtures of the next six so he's home to Bournemouth away to Forest and game week 20 home to Palace game week 22 home to Fulham and there's a reasonably good chance he could do well in those four games possibly four clean sheets and Ward, who's the cheapest playing keeper, in game week 19 when Kepa is, has Man City, Ward is home to Fulham. And in 21 when Kepa's away to Liverpool, Ward is home to Brighton. So these two play keepers, I think, are the two cheapest playing keepers in the game. And for the first six game weeks after the World Cup, they've got an incredible run of fixtures. So it's highly likely that these are going to, assuming they don't get injured, these are going to be the most bought keepers from game week 17 onwards. And Kepa could well go up in price before we reach the end of game week 16. He may go up tonight, possibly tomorrow night. There's a good chance he's going to go up before the weekend. So because of this and because of the price rise, if you had nothing else to do, that slightly makes a better argument to bring Kepa in now. So I'm going to be changing my keeper. I was intending to do it next week, but I may do it this week. This is my team personally. And he's quite high on the list to bring in. But I've not decided yet. If I don't, it simply costs me 0.1 million more when I do bring him in for game week 17. I keep forgetting to say that. That's why I put this on here to remind me. Got 205 subscribers at the moment. Very pleased with that. If you like this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing and maybe even subscribe. The last time I did one of these videos, which was three game weeks ago, because of all the fixtures crunched together, didn't have time to make this, I got 107 views and 11 likes. Very happy with that. Please do like it if you do like this sort of video. Thanks. Back to the show. Trippier, 5.8 million Newcastle. Next three games are home to Villa, away to Southampton, and then home to Chelsea. If he didn't cost me a hit, I'd bring him in. He's so highly owned, even if he gets two points a game, he's worth having just in case he does better than that. However, he can get points against anyone, it seems. So 
he's a bit of a must-have player in him and Haaland and Martinelli probably the three must-have players in any team at the moment I would even consider taking him for a hit he keeps going up and up in price he's still being brought in by managers is he going to end up on 70% ownership maybe a bit more I don't know I wouldn't take a hit on him if I was removing a decent defender to bring him in. It's only if I needed to bring a defender in, maybe didn't have good 11 playing players for the next game week, then he's worth a hit perhaps. But if you if you can get 11 good players out and you've got three decent defenders, I'd maybe leave it another week rather than take the hit. But a wildcard chip or free hit, absolutely I'd get Trippier if he wasn't in the squad already. Saliba. For Arsenal, now they're home to Forest, then away to Chelsea, and then away to Wolves. Wolves was shockingly bad at the weekend against Leicester. He's a tentative, yes. The reason he's a tentative, yes, is he's currently on four yellow cards. So if he picks up a yellow against Forest, then you haven't got him for Chelsea. And if you've got coverage of your other defenders, then maybe that's all right. And then, of course, he maybe would get the yellow at Chelsea, not Forest, and you've not got him for the Wolves game. So if you take Saliba, you're taking a risk, you're going to miss game week 15 or 16. He is only 5.2. Another slight thing against him is he's Arsenal. And you may prefer to have Jesus, Saka and Martinelli, in which case you can't have him anyway. I wouldn't take a hit for him. Given the four yellow cards, given he's going to stop you getting the other Arsenal players, absolutely not worth it for me. On a wildcard chip, Yes, but again, tentatively because of the four yellow cards. On a free hit chip, absolutely take him because the yellow card's not relevant because your team will go back to how it was at the end of it. Now, Dallo, his next three games are home to West Ham, away to Villa and away to Fulham. He's very cheap at 4.6, but he's on four yellow cards as well. So I've had to put him down as a tentative because you could be missing one of those very nice games, away to Villa or away to Fulham. I wouldn't take a hit for him. Absolutely no way I would do that. Wildcard chip, tentative, yes. Free hit, absolute, definite, yes. 4.6, that's money that you're saving, potentially, that you could be using elsewhere. Almiron, midfield, Newcastle, 5.4 million. He's been very good the last few weeks. They're at home to Villa, away to Southampton, and home to Chelsea. I've given him a tentative, yes, if he's free to bring in. The reason he's only tentative is there are lots of great midfielders out there. Now, he is cheap. He's on the cheap end of the midfielders. But it may be that when you look at your team and the 11 players you're going to put out, you actually find three, four or five, depending on your formation, other midfielders you'd rather be playing than him. So he's a tentative, yes, but I wouldn't break my whole team to bring him in. I probably wouldn't take a hit for him, but if I could not get out 11 good players, but I could get him in, then he is worth a hit. But I wouldn't take out a player that's got a reasonable chance of, say, 3-4 points to bring him in for a minus 4. Wildcard chip, happy to bring him in probably, and a free hit, I'd definitely take him in. The thing with the free hit is you can focus entirely on just this one game week, and at home to Aston Villa, he's got a pretty good, pretty good chance of getting some good returns for that. De Bruyne, 12.3 million. They're away to Leicester, home to Fulham and home to Brentford. Now Leicester, it's on here as a green green team. This is from the official site. So they're thinking, are they going to smash Leicester? Leicester have kept, is it four clean sheets in the last five games? But if you look at who they've been playing, they've not been the most difficult sides. So it's going to be very interesting to see how many goals Man City can get past Leicester. If you can get him in and he doesn't take a hit and he fits with your strategy, I think he's absolutely worth having. For a minus four, I'm saying tentatively no, but if you're shuffling things around and it makes sense for you over the next three weeks, then there's a good chance he's going to pay off. Wildcard chip, yes. Free hit chip, no. The reason I've said no for the free hit is he's away to Leicester this week and if Salah can actually start making a bit more effort, He's at home to Leeds. He's probably got more chance of getting a good score than De Bruyne has. You may also want Son instead. You may want Fernandez instead for this game week when you think about who they're playing. So probably not on a free hit. Not definitely not, but probably not. Maybe just getting Foden and a few other players. I'll probably get 
Arsenal players this week, Newcastle players. So I probably wouldn't get De Bruyne if I was on a free hit. But wild card or no effort, yes, I would bring him in. But week 15, 16, if you can manage to get him in and it doesn't break your team, he's very good to get in. I am probably going to get him in game week 15 and sell Salah. Trossard, 6.8 million. Trossard's a brilliant player. He scores some brilliant goals. He cost me points at the weekend when he scored against Man City. Home to Chelsea, away to Wolves, home to Aston Villa. I wouldn't take him for a hit. Tentatively, no. Because I think there are better value midfielders out there for this coming game week and the rest of the se- the rest of the three weeks before the World Cup. Definitely wouldn't take a minus four for him. Wouldn't take him on a wild card. Definitely wouldn't take him on a free hit chip. And yet he's getting transferred in by lots of managers. Now the very last game of the this series, game week 16, home to Aston Villa, I may well bring him in. But for me, he's not worth bringing in at the moment. Foden, 8.4 million. Obviously the same fixtures as De Bruyne. If you can get him in without a hit, absolutely take him. With a minus four, tentatively yes. It may be that who you're taking out isn't quite worth it. But I think it's fine to take a hit to bring him in, given who the next three fixtures are, if it's not going to mess your squad up. Wild card, yes. Free hit chip, yes. The reason those are green yeses for him, and it wasn't quite the same for De Bruyne, is he's a lot cheaper than De Bruyne. So you can do a lot more with the rest of your team and it's going to be a lot easier to get Foden in than it is to get De Bruyne in. It may well be De Bruyne gets more points, but De Bruyne is a lot more expensive. Mitrovic, Fulham striker, home to Everton, then away to Man City and home to Man United. I wouldn't bring him in if I didn't already have him. I do have him, not intending to sell him. But if you bring him in, it's kind of potentially for one game because Man City away and Man United home, he may blank. Man United defensively have been very good recently. There's no way I'll take a hit to bring Mitrovic in. I wouldn't put him on a wild card. On a free hit, I think he's absolutely worth having. Home to Everton, although Everton are defensively quite good recently, it is Mitrovic. He is at home. I think it'd be worth a pun. And he's relatively cheap for a striker. Kane, 11.5 million. They're away to Bournemouth, home to Liverpool, and then home to Leeds. If he doesn't cost you a hit and he fits in with your squad, then yes, but it's a tentative yes. Because you've presumably got Haaland. If you're taking him, it means you've not got Salah this week, who's home to Leeds. Oh, yeah, home to Leeds. It means you're not getting De Bruyne. It means you're not getting Fernandez, And you might have to be tight with your squad elsewhere. But if you can comfortably get him in and you're happy with your squad, then I think he's worth bringing in. Personally, I wouldn't take a hit to bring him in at the moment. And he's home to Liverpool next week. Who knows what Liverpool defence is going to be like. So far this season, Liverpool defence has been shocking on the road. So maybe he's going to get a hat-trick there. Wildcard chip. Yes, again, tentatively okay to bring in. Free hit. Again, tentative, yes, because I think potentially there's better ways to spend your money this week than away to Bournemouth. But he's kind of a yes, I can understand why you would want him, but he wouldn't be a definite yes for me. Tony, 7.5 million, Brentford. So home to Wolves, away to Forest, and then away to Man City. Yep, if he didn't cost me anything, happy to bring him in. As long as I'm not taking out a decent player for him, then yep, home to Wolves, away to Forest, two excellent fixtures. I wouldn't take a minus four point hit on him because I'd think he's probably not going to get anything in game week 16. So in 14 and 15, is he going to justify the four points that I'm going to be losing by getting him in. However, if you can't get 11 decent players out, then maybe he is worth the hit. But if you're taking out, I don't know, maybe Solanke or somebody who at least is going to play, then I probably wouldn't take a hit to get Tony in. He would be worth taking a hit if you were selling an expensive striker. Maybe um, you've got, I don't know, suppose you've had enough of Kane or someone else who's expensive. Then if by taking Tony, you're releasing funds to do something else you want to do, then you could justify him. Wildcard chip, yeah, happy to take him. And obviously a free hit, you take him home to Wolves. He's an excellent striker to have. And they're the 11 players, and that's my opinion on those 11. I hope that was a little bit interesting. Now, I didn't have to talk about captains, so I didn't have to put the old mule hat on. But I'll put it on now anyway, because I know some people like it when I wear the hat. All right, I hope you have a nice game week 14. 
Thanks, bye.